Hello ladies and gentlemen, Cyberpunk 2077, the highly anticipated game, just released a few new hardware specifications. And for users of the RX 5700 XT that have been pretty good news, because our card is now recommended for 1440p at ultra settings. Noise. So I think it is a good idea to show you how to tune your GPU to perfection and how to use the metrics of the Radeon software. So first of all, open your Radeon software and hit the Performance tab. Now you start at Metrics, we'll get to that later, and go to Tuning. Um, so mine is already set to Manual, but usually it should be set to Automatic. So the first thing you do is set it to Manual, and I will close my already adjusted things and this is how it should look for you first time activating manual. Now here are four main categories. Fan tuning, power tuning, GPU tuning and VRAM tuning. Fan tuning is all up to you, personal preferences and every card comes with a preset fan curve. So I adjusted mine a little bit but it's really completely up to you. Noise, ambient temperature what kind of case you are using. So with that part you can fiddle around for yourself. Next up we have power tuning. Now when I open the tab it is already set to 50% plus. Of course you will start with 0%. Now if you ever heard about undervolting you might think initially well undervolting is good for temperature and noise level maybe I should reduce the power limit. Well that's a pretty raw tool so undervolting is done under GPU tuning we are getting to that in a second. So for power consumption, just get all the way up to plus 50%. As long as your power supply is up to the task, there's absolutely no problem. Just let the GPU draw as much power as it wants. Simple as that. Now let's head over to VRAM tuning, because that part is pretty easy. Um, first up, you will start like this, so it will be... Um, Disabled, enable it, enable advanced controls, and it is set to 1750 megahertz. Every 5700 XT should be perfectly capable of doing 1800 megahertz. Maybe with a few exceptions, I will tell you how to test that. So, up from that point, you have to try, because every card is different. My card started to run into problems at 1850 MHz. And issues are green screens within games and of course crashing again. Now you can think of this like sitting in a car and hitting the gas and the brakes at the same time. Because although higher frequency on your VRAM is increasing your performance, it also produces errors if the speed is too high. Before it produces crashes, it already reduces the performance because of too many errors. So when I ran into issues, I reduced my VRAM to 1830 MHz. And I found that it's a sweet spot for my card. So, by the way, apply changes. Last one, maybe the most complicated one. GPU tuning. Enable the tab, enable advanced controls and open the fine tuning controls. No worries, we only look at the last two settings here. That would be frequency and voltage. In terms of frequency, the maximum for each card is for an XT is 2150 megahertz. But your card will usually not be able to run stable at that frequency. Try around a little bit. For me it is about 2080 megahertz, but my card reaches 2050, 2070, sometimes peaking out in 2080, but it's more or less capable of keeping that kind of target frequency. Now voltage. The reason why you can under voltage your card is because it is over voltaged by default. 
That has to do with production and confirmation processes. Don't bother with that. But you can easily take the voltage down to 1.1 something. This will help your card running cooler and reducing noise and not losing performance. And that is nearly all here, not that complicated. So you maybe adjusted your fan controls, the power tuning, VRAM tuning and GPU tuning. Apply changes. Very important here, save your profile. Sometimes with a new update, Radeon software will reset the settings or if it encounter any problems, I had that already twice. So save your profile so you can easily back up. Why not using MSI Afterburner? MSI Afterburner is a pretty common and popular program. I think mostly because it has a very nice overlay metric. And you can see that footage in nearly every capture of any content creator or streamer that wants to show the frames per second and stuff like that. It is a nicely designed overlay. I like it too. But I ran into some issues with MSI Afterburner. I had some stuttering, fan control did not apply, and it always overrides your Radeon settings. So you cannot fiddle with both. You have to decide which one you use. At the end, I digged my heels a little bit more into a Radeon software and deinstalled MSI Afterburner. I think the Radeon software is much better tied to your GPU here and it is the better tool to use. But of course you can also work with MSI Afterburner if you choose to. So, speaking of metrics, the last thing I want to show you is how to use the metrics here. So head back to the metric tab and you can see you have different graphs like GPU, VRAM, uh, CPU and so on. And by clicking the symbol here, the little I, you can turn these settings on and off in the overlay. So if I activate my overlay and you can add something or disable something like the fan speed and put it back on. Pretty easy. Now here are the settings for the overlay itself. Head to the settings and for example reduce the size. While I'm playing it's set to 100% but I want to show you some footage so I set it to 200%. The location can be set by default, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right or custom like in my scenario here. And that's all there is. So question is what to expect from all this tuning. Well, don't expect your car to be 10 or 20% faster just because you tuned a few things here. I did some testing within a few games, turning the settings on and off, tabbing in and out of the game and using the metrics. And the difference is a handful of frames per second. So it was three to five frames per second. So that is about the performance that you can expect. I hope you liked this little tutorial. If you want to see anything else concerning Radeon software, like capturing your video or stuff like that, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for upcoming videos. I will cover Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of gameplay and hardware configuration. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. And don't forget, take care of yourself.